How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Green Hell. Now, today, we're going to get out and explore once again. I addressed in the last episode, uh, my biggest issue right now is the worm. So, I really want to upgrade my bed, and instead of trying to upgrade to this shack's bed, let's try and get the best bed in the game, at least from what I understand, and uh, go out and see if we can find it. Of course, the rain starts the moment I start cooking. Ah, I hate you. So yeah, it's nighttime right now, obviously. I'm gonna prep out tonight, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning we should be good and ready to go, and we can focus on exploring today. Oh, don't go out! Oh, this fire is still staying on. This is actually impressive. Okay, it did finally go out. So unfortunately, we still got some meat on the fire. That's totally fine. We got a little bit of meat in the inventory. Uh, it's probably pretty early, right? Oh, yeah, it's pretty pretty much in the middle of the night. So, yeah, we're going to sleep for a little bit, gain our energy, and then we're going to get out of here and hopefully get this new bed. Like I said, I know where it is, but I don't really know what we're going to expect. Let's wake up. We got something on us. Probably freaking worms, which is why we're getting this bed. And, yes, indeed, it is the worms. Oh, man, I, gotta, I, I hate these things now. I got lots of bandages, though. I have prepared... So we can deal with these worms. It's just such an annoyance. We may as well fix our issue. All right, so we're just going to sleep till it's nice and bright out. This looks good to me. Uh, what else? Before we leave, let's make sure we got everything. We don't got too much food right now. We'll have to scavenge as we go about. We have, looks like, four different bandages. Let's grab a couple more just to be safe. You know, I have a couple more here. You know what? I'm even going to take the canned food just in case we need it. We'll keep the rest here, and off we go. Looks like my traps didn't get anything today. We might have a, a mouse in the other one. I'm not too worried about that, though, but we may as well grab it. Yes. So these ones, I gotta say, these stone traps, I'm assuming the mice don't give much in terms of sustenance, but the stone traps are really good at being reliable, at least. So I know we have to go this way. It's about 20 south and 40-ish west. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to an area of the map I've never been to, so we don't really know what's to be expected over here. I'm going to give it my best shot. Oh, we got these unknown mushrooms again. I don't think they were the ones that actually affected me. So let's make sure. What, what do we got going on with us? It's never a dull moment in the jungle. There we go. We just had a leech on us as per usual. Now, there's a snake down here somewhere. I know that. Um, aside from that, I really haven't went that far this way. There's a snake right there. All right. One thing I do know is there's lots of tribes people over here. So I, I'm just going very slow. I don't want to, you know, see anybody. But, yeah, we've never really been up here. This is exciting. This is part of the map I've never been to. And that's what's amazing about this game to me. I have spent so much time in this game, 15 hours to be more precise, and still, even in this early access state, there's so many parts of the map I've never even been to. Okay, we have... Is this the one that I went to? Can we get this guy? No, he's gonna run away. Um, we have some sort of tribal hut over here. I think this might be... No, this is definitely not the one I've been to, so... We, oh, actually it is, because I got the snare trap here. Okay, so I just go, wow, that's crazy. I went a totally different way, but I ended up at the same spot. So I must slowly wrap around then, uh, coming from that way. Now we have, we should have our capybara trap somewhere over here then. And yes, there it is. Have we caught anything? No, we have not, but uh, they're around. So we just got to real arm this. Oh, all the bones here. I love my bones too, so we may as well take those home. Let's eat some of this meat so we can heal up a little bit, because we are going to need it. Capybara, yeah, come here, buddy. Come on. I wonder if I can lure him in. I've always wanted to try that. I have no idea, though. All right, there we go. That's what I need, some fruit. Uh, I have nothing right now, so we do have to uh, find some fruits along the way. Ah, there we go. We got the banana trees out here. This is great. We're finding all the fruit now. I should have actually quite a bit. Now that we have meat as well, I've also filled my canteen with a crap load of water. The good thing about this game is actually finding foods not too bad. The hard part is finding all the foods that you need, especially fats. Um, somewhere... Okay, so we're at 45. So it's we're going the right way. It's somewhere up here. I was told to look for a plane. I'm assuming it's crashed, but I was told to look for a plane. Problem is, you can't see 15 feet in front of you in this game, so, uh, yeah, we could totally miss that thing. We looked the wrong direction. Okay, there might be... What do we got going on down here? Wow, look at this view. We're close to it. We're close to bees as well. I think there's bees down there on that tree. I remember seeing that. So, we're at 4324. So, it's a little bit this way. It should be, like, right in front of us here, though. 
if my coordinates are correct. I was just given kind of a general idea where it was, so we still have to find it. We got... Looks like a dead end over here. Oh, I didn't even see this. Okay. I found a cave, at least. It said there was... I, I know I'm looking for a cave, so this might be it. But it was said that there's going to be a plane around that you would see. So, oh, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't want to screw with you, man. I don't want to get stung. There you go. Okay, no, this was just a fake cave. Do we got... We got some sort of leaf there, but yeah, this is... This would be a great place to, to actually uh, camp up because this is a real small cave. I feel kind of cozy in here. What the heck? I feel like I can get under here if I really try. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here. Oh, yeah, probably not supposed to do it this way. I feel like it's somewhere up here, though, and I have no idea how to get up there. Oh, I'm all out of energy, too. I could probably rock climb, but that's a little dangerous. It doesn't look like there's a way to get in around here, so... Even when you have the coordinates in this game, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy to find because you still have to really look around. The terrain here is absolutely awful, and as you can tell, the view distance is uh, not any better either. Um, oh, that was a stupid idea. Can I get back up? Let's not risk it. Let's get down here somehow easier. All right, can't hurt to follow the river. I mean, all rivers lead to civilization, so... Well, we're not really looking for civilization now that I think about it, but... I feel like that's not the answer. We were we explored all up there, and there was nothing. So maybe if we can follow this river for a little bit, there'll be an opening or something, and uh, we can find something else. Ah, oh, you bastard! I was too busy looking at how to get up. All right, well, let's address this quick, um, because last thing I want to deal with is a snake bite. There she is. Okay, so we should, if we open this, we oh, we're going to have to craft first. Uh, I did bring everything, I hope. Leaf bandage and tobacco. I only brought one tobacco leaf. Okay, so we're gonna have to find more tobacco leaves. Chances are we'll get hit by another snake. That's okay, though. It's part of living in the jungle. There we go. So we should slowly heal over time. And uh, I gotta be on the lookout for tobacco leaves now. I thought I brought more than that. I really didn't prepare. Oh, crap. There's a guy right there. So uh, day one, I actually wrapped all the way around and... Somehow got back to my base, so that was convenient because I just slept and gained my energy again. I think I need to go up here. I've never been up here because this guy's always singing on this damn rock. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to sneak around him. Oh, don't hit me. Okay, you know what? Oh, uh, you know, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, there's two. This is bad. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. There we go. You know what? Gotcha. Got that one. Okay, I have to get the other one. Oh, he hit me. All right, come on, boy. Come on. Gotcha. Come on. There we go. Oh, man. I didn't want to do that, but I had to. So what What, what are my wounds looking like? We got one there. I'm going to have to use a lot of bandages here, I think, because he hit me a few times. Uh, looks like I got one on the leg as well. Killed two tribes, people. Wasted two bandages. I think that's worth it. Now, these things are pretty deep wounds, and deep wounds do have the chance of getting infection, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But uh, I think it needed to be done to go up here, and uh, I really want to see what's up here anyways. Even if we don't find the plane today, we're exploring a lot of the map we've never done before, so that's always exciting as well. Uh, all right, so there we go. We should. It still says search. What am I missing here, then? I mean, I have half my body bandaged up. What do you want from me? Okay, it looks... Oh, it's just a little damn leech. <laughs> okay, we good now? Let's eat up so we can heal a little bit. We... Oh, crap. My meat's starting to decay. Well, we're going to want to eat that. Unfortunately, it doesn't heal me. I must have to heal my wounds first. Uh, we're going to get rid of that meat then. And, well, let's harvest these guys for the bones because we can always make bone soup out of them. Okay, so down here we go. This has got to be where they live. I've never seen a tribe of two. So, kind of kind of nerve-wracking. We've got some Malernia here. That's always good. It's actually... I keep using that thing. I think I brought my bone knife, didn't I? But I guess knives are the best for getting plants, which kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff in our inventory, as you can see. These obsidian stones, as weird as it sounds, we don't need them. Because uh, we can always get more. Oh, it's a 
Spackle leaves just take up so much spots. So according to the internet, uh, now that we killed two, they might be on the hunt for me, which is obviously a little nerve-wracking, but uh, we took out two, and we did quite well. We should bring that rat just in case I need meat. Um, where are we right now? 44 north, 28 south. We're actually way far away, but I'm really curious what's over here. Oh. I think, well, this cave looks like it goes deep in. Is this? No, this isn't where we saw the generator. I've never seen this cave. What the hell? Oh, my God. How do we get up there? There's a walkway. This is obviously lived in. This is a major cave. All right, I saw a light over here. Let's go this way. I don't think this is the cave I'm looking for, but my God, easily... The biggest cave I've ever seen. We could easily get lost in here. There's got to be something with this. Oh, my God. Okay, we, we got to watch out for scorpions. They can sting us. And what the hell? What is this place? We got obsidian everywhere. Is this where I saw the... Are, are we walking through the log area that I saw? Oh, there's, there's a way out over here. Okay. Did, did I just go in a big circle? I might have went in a big circle. This could be the other side, too. I have no freaking idea. <gasps> there it is! I finally... Wow, this... I feel... I felt like I was lost for so long there, and I really wasn't that far away in terms of coordinates, so I'm very confused. I feel like I'm, like, losing my mind or something. But obviously, uh, I was told I would see a plane when I'm at the right area, and God damn it. This must be the right air. We got a plane tail right here. Yeah, that was a serious plane crash. All right, and I realized I um, forgot my uh, spear when I killed those tribes people, so we lost that one. There it is, guys. We also got campfire rash. We got actually a lot of rations over here, so oh, I was hoping for a bit of a deeper cave to explore, but we already found a huge cave as well. We should probably go back there. I can sleep here, actually. This is great. And we have the bamboo log bed inside our thing and i think there's maybe even two beds is it bamboo and um ordinary logs because that's how it was with the uh other shelter yeah we can do log bed or bamboo log bed there we go that's what i needed something raised off the ground to hopefully fix this worm issue that i'm having god all these amazing spots though yeah i almost want to just stay here okay coconut flesh that's spoiled we're gonna take the can that's for sure we got some coconuts here. You know what? Could always use some fat, so let's get that while we're here. But that was the major goal, to unlock that. So I gotta say, that feels damn good. There we go. We got some food as well. How we doing? Uh, we're getting low on hydration. We got some water here if we do need it. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing else around here, because obviously somebody was surviving here. What the? I wonder if it's the, uh, in the storyline, if it's gonna be the actual pilot or something, because obviously this plane cl crashed very close to it. Alright, what's the time looking like right now? It's 1428. I have no idea where we are, so we might just kinda hang out here for the night, uh, sleep in that log bed, and see what we can collect around here, because I do need to collect some sticks and whatnot. Uh, do we have bamboo around here? Oh, actually, no, that's a palm tree. That's not bamboo. I don't even... Actually, wait, 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 wait. That's definitely bamboo right there. So we could actually get some bamboo uh, to bring back. I think it's the big ones, though. I don't have an axe right now, of course, so I might have to craft one of those. I should have everything I need. All right, there we go. Got myself a handy-dandy axe, and let's see what's inside this thing. So I'm assuming it works... Oh, what the hell am I doing? I'm assuming it works just like the logs where you have to hold them in your hands, which is unfortunate because I can't find any bamboo around our location. It would be great to have some, and yeah, you can see bamboo log. Now, we can probably take some sticks, though. Is there any sticks? It just looks like it's all logs, unfortunately. That's too bad. Okay, so I guess, yeah, we're going to have to find some bamboo closer to our house and actually, like, transfer it if we want to stay there. I am considering moving as well. I mean, I do love my oasis. But, uh, I'm all about exploring this map now, too, because there's so many secrets out here. we got a snake over here. Um, yeah, just kind of looking around right now, wasting time, because, uh, we're gonna have to sleep here. Alright, we also got a candy bar in here, beef jerky. Good thing I checked again, but I was gonna make a fire anyways. May as well cook some of this meat. I think we got some meat anyways. Let me just make sure. I got lots of sticks I was just collecting. Yeah, we- oh, we got human meat. 
I don't know if I actually want the human meat. I I'll use it as bait. I guess we could make the bone uh, stew, though. If we actually, if it rains again, we'll just try and collect some coconut water. Or water inside coconut husk, I should say. And uh, if it rains again, we'll definitely set up a fire. No, no sense wasting sticks if we're not going to cook some food, though. Holy crap, am I ever being attacked over here? I'm wondering if it's like in muddy situations. Oh, leeches live in water or very, very wet conditions, and it's very wet over here, and I am just getting bombarded with them, so I think that's where the leeches come into play. Coconuts are empty. Do we have enough room for a small stick? Yes, we do. Uh, also have a stick blade over here. I'm just kind of hanging out. This could, this would be a perfect little, you know, extra home when we are exploring. I don't know how the hell I got here, though, to be totally honest, so... Yeah, we have that issue. You know what? Let's take this ash. I know it's for something, and what time is it? It's probably pretty early yet, yeah, is, but uh, we may as well just sleep. I need to get some energy anyways, and I want to see how good this bed is. I'm hoping... Well, we are losing health right now. That always worries me. Let's wake up, make sure everything's okay. It's just, it's just an energy thing. It's not we're being attacked by anything. So it looks like, well, at least for today... Oh, oh, something's happening. Um... Okay, it says, look at the watch. What do we got going on right now? We are very, very thirsty. Okay, so I kept those coconuts. Let's just drink those. I also have the uh, bidden with all the water. We can just fill up the uh, that. If we Oh, it's, it's raining right now, so those co coconuts should be filled later. We will cook in the morning. Actually, let's just cook right now, basically. So it's four. By the time we get everything set up, it should be daytime. All right, so there we go. We got fire started, and uh, we should get some delicious bone soup. Some human bone soup, but uh, at least it doesn't lose my sanity, I don't think. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, I think I just ate a coconut, didn't I? You know what, we're just going to harvest this, and we'll just use our biddens, and we'll have the other water to drink later on. Uh, eat that, get some fats, get some fats, and throw these things on the fire. There. Oh, was that upside down? Oh, no, it looked like it was upside down. That's really weird. Uh, okay, so do we, can we put these in here first? No, we can't. We have to do the bid in first. I'm so happy we got this thing. I had no idea how much hydration this thing holds, but my god, you could survive off that thing just for a while. By the way, I did read the comments. I know you can fill this with soup as well. Actually, should we do that and keep it for the road? I actually really like that idea. Let's probably do that. Hold on here. We'll have to cook some stew with the bones, and yeah, you know what? We'll just drink like crazy out of this. Oh, you can hear them boiling now. I don't think that was like that before. So, it looks like, yeah, I just drank it all. So now it looks like we can... Somebody said... Oh, don't tell me the comments lied to me. So, there's got to be a way to do this. Hold on. Uh, no, I... Well, actually... No! I didn't want to... Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? Before we screw up everything, let's just uh, drink this and get some fats. What the hell? It looked like I could drag it in my inventory. I got all excited there. Uh, well, we have a mouse. We can make mouse stew, I guess. Oh, no, we can't because... Wait, I still have the wa the things outside. Come on, coconut bowl. I got to drag you all the way over because it empties you when I put you in my backpack. There's the fire. All right, so we have a coconut bowl filled with water. Harvest that little mouse body. Get something in here. Oh, my God. Everything's spoiled. What? My mouse meat was spoiled? I just harvested it. Okay, so the whole mouse was obviously spoiled. So this is not going well. I I was planning out to have this great feast, and now we kind of just screwed up everything. So whatever. We'll drink the water. We got three hydration out of that. That wasn't even filled anyways. We're totally good, and look at that. It's daytime. Now we just got to get home somehow. <laughs> Let's drink this as well, just in case. What the, what the hell happened here? Oh God, it's a good thing I checked myself before I left. Uh, I don't know where I got that scratch. Maybe sleeping too close to the fire. Well, I didn't have the fire started before I left, so I have no idea. Uh. Okay, there's a cat somewhere over here. Oh, thank God I heard that. Oh my God, they're so quiet too at the start. I think he's going to leave me alone, but um, I have no idea how to get home, guys, because I have to go... If you saw where we were, I have to go behind that mountain. So we went through... We just went on a wild goose chase to find this. I went through a, a mountain cave. Uh, I think I got to get through that mountain cave again to get to the other side of the map, so I got to find that. Uh, the problem is, it's hard to find anything in this damn jungle. <laughs> oh, we got little bamboos here. I bet there is little bamboo sticks then. Hold on. Oh, yes. No, not long. 
Oh, they're all longs? Bamboo sucks, man. You can't put any of this on your damn backpack. Looks like there's a little one there, but it actually despawned. Oh, we do have bamboo sticks. Okay, well, I have one. Um, at least we know if we need some small bamboo, we can get it. There is bamboo for us. Actually, this makes me feel like I know where we are, kind of. Actually, you know what? Let's just, we have an axe. Let's just go crazy for a second here. Let's get some of this stuff in case we ever need it. And what am I saying? The great thing about this game is you can harvest the big ones for littler ones. So we probably could have did that with the big sticks as well. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that, but there we go. That should at least have a bunch at home. So if we ever want to use bamboo, we at least got the small ones, man. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling good. This is looking kind of familiar. I mean, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know, I'm not I'm not feeling good anymore, man. Snakes want to kill me. I, I don't remember seeing this much bamboo. I know there's bamboo by the tribal village, though. If there's a village over here, I know exactly where we are. But I don't think there is. But my god, that was a huge bamboo forest. What do we got? Wait. Did I just go in a big circle? Because the freaking plane's right there. Oh my god, I am so lost. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've done that twice in this episode. I made it home. I don't even know how I made it home, but it worked out because I had to sleep. All right, another snake there. I see you, little jerk. Um, well, I didn't go really that far this way, so I guess we're heading back this way somewhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, God. What, what, what hit me? I don't even know what hit me there. I got to inspect myself anyways. Let's see what's going on. I think I was too close to maybe an anthill. I didn't hear bees, so... Yeah, we just got a little rash. We should be able to survive that. Um, I heard... Oh, God. Oh God. No, no, no. Go away! Please just... Oh, I hate you guys so much. The problem is they give me nothing good besides bones. So I, I don't even want to kill them, man. It's not like they have better weapons than me at this point. Okay, I think we're on our way. We're at, we are at least at a different opening. Um, and we're going a different direction that is towards my base. Are we going to hit another rock face and get all confused again? Possibly. But we are going in a different direction, so that's exciting. And I haven't had to fight any jaguars yet or whatever the big cats are in this game. I know people always get mad at me when I say the wrong cat. I mean, I don't know my big cats, damn it. I'm just trying to survive in the jungle, and I've never been to a jungle before. So the fact that I'm able to do it, we're on day 10 or 11 now, I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. Okay, so yeah, this is looking much better. We are going the right direction. Ooh, wait, is this the big cave? Okay, I think... Is this possibly it? Should we go through it? No, this is this is different. This is... Maybe it is it. Should I go... Yeah, you know what? Let's just actually jot this down. 4322? I'm gonna go through this, though. Screw it. I wanna see... I We didn't go down all the corridors, so I wanna see if we can maybe find anything here. It looks like it's just a huge cave system, though, to get from one side of the mountain to the other. I know I need to go to the other side of the mountain. So, yeah, that was just a big loop around. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, this is looking familiar. I think I've been here before. Okay, so I know we got to keep going this way. Wow. What a beautiful map, man. I am just blown away. The more I look around, the more I see. And I just absolutely love this game. All right, so yeah, we have the major river here. I think this, if we follow this, that goes by that encampment that we have. What are we at? 44, 25. So yeah, we have to go further south. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just going to follow the river here. This might even lead right into our camp. I don't think there's, there's an access point to our camp, though. This is a much bigger river than I remember, though. What's that up there? Looks something shiny. Okay, so here's the uh, encampment. We can check our trap. Uh, we should have, yeah, this trap right here. These things never get anything, man. They have to get something major when they do get it, though. Uh, because don't get me wrong, getting mice every time is great. But, uh, if we could get, you know, even a cat would be amazing. I would love another capybara, though, because that meat lasted me all this episode. Just one capybara. Unfortunately, it looks like, yeah, we got another dead-end trap. But, do we have any meat we could maybe throw on here? I think I'm pretty much out. Do you guys want a fruit? You know what? It's better than nothing. I don't even know. Capybaras must eat fruit. I don't think... They're definitely not carnivores, so... Yeah, that should be good for them. All right, we got high energy. This went really well. I did get lost for a very long time, but I took my time. I didn't freak out. And it went extremely well. Now, I don't remember where the cat one was. I had a cat trap. Uh, 
somewhere here. We'll have to find it in the daytime. Don't really care too much about my traps right now. I'm just happy to get the bed up. Uh, I want to do that as quickly as possible. Hello, friendly snake. How's it going, buddy? Please don't eat me. There we go. Yeah, I think the cat trap was actually somewhere around here, which was last episode. If you did miss that, by the way, we uh, set up a bunch of traps uh, so we could get some big game. And uh, we got one capybara so far, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, they did. they're not as good as I thought they would be, to be totally honest. I thought we were going to get animals left, right, and center, but uh, hunting and trapping in the jungle is harder than it seems, I think. All right, there she is, my oasis. We got anything? Of course we don't have anything on this trap. I don't even know why I look anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think the snare traps are honestly for humans. We got another mouse, of course, as we always do with these stone traps. Like, like I said, if you, want, if you want to survive in this game, just make a bunch of these stone traps. They're so easy to make, and you'd get so many mice. Mice don't give you too much, but if you have enough of them, you're going to be totally fine. All right, but here we are back at the oasis with a brand new thing to make. Now, I'm just wondering. I doubt it's going to work, but I want to see if I can throw the bed underneath this thing again. We are going to be doing the log bed, and yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to move or something because I would really like to use this. Looks Works just fine over here. I wonder if I could build another one on top of this. So if we build this over here, for example, I wonder, can, can we actually cancel this? Uh, hold the deconstruct. Yes, so I'm wondering if we can do that. I have a leech on me. That's fine. I'll get that off in a second. I just want to see if we can do this. Oh, man, why are the... this thing should just be built with this thing. It looks like, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to figure out where we can put both of these things uh, so they both work. So I'm going to deconstruct that. It will definitely be around here. I just, maybe even over on one of those, uh, there's uh, some small islands over there that are flatter. Because we got really uneven ground. That's the unfortunate part. Okay, I'm thinking this is my best spot. It's up on the hill, which is kind of out of the way. But uh, at least it's a nice flat ground. And it's a nice view as well. So I'm, I'm actually really liking it up here. We'll probably slowly move everything up if it does work. So we're going to notebook it up. And we got... Unfortunately, there's still some... Problem is, I just wish it got rid of all these little annoying little plants. Because it's so frustrating. Benefit being, at least we'll have lots of small leaf piles later. So there we go. It's a little bit... No, actually, it's good. That actually looks really good there. Now, I've tried many times to see if it, like, snaps into place. I don't think it snaps into place until you build it. So we're not going to know. And I hate that so much because it doesn't look like it's going to work. But it, it, it hopefully will. Oh, I got leeches on me. God damn it. Okay, please tell me this works. Because this took a long time to build, as per usual. Now, I'm going to pick up everything that I can, or at least move it. Let's uh, just, yeah, just move this over here. Just get everything out of the way. Give us the best chance to do this. Get the small stick out of here. You know what? I'll just pick that up. There we go. Ah, it looks good. It looks like it will definitely fit. Yes! Oh, God, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited now. We at least have no worm issues. So we need big logs for that. This is going to take a while to build, but that's totally fine. I was more worried if it would work or not. Now, what's going on with my health? Okay, we need... Oh, of all things, we need carbs. Do we have any bananas here? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any strange fruit around. I'm, I could always eat my snacks. I don't really need to eat those, though. We should probably just go get some strange fruit. Oh! What the hell? Oh, my God, I got one! Oh, a Picari? What the hell are you? Oh, my God. What did I... Did I bait this? I don't think I baited it. Uh, is he dead? Harvest. Let's let's harvest him before he runs away. He was wiggling, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we got Picari meat. Oh, oh. Why did I look up? That that scared me. I, I looked up automatically. That wasn't me controlling that. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I just came out here for some fruit. Didn't expect to get a freaking kill. That's exciting. Let's not forget to rearm that. I mean, that's kind of important. And there's got man. There's actually no fruit kind of around me. I'm, oh, actually, never mind. I lied. There we go. That's all I needed. Just some carbs. Okay, back to the build, though. The thing we've all been waiting for. We got long sticks. Okay, I'm just trying to keep a mental note of what I got around here. I need big logs, though. We'll take down this tree. I am low energy right now, so I should go sleep before I pass out. I just want to get these logs done. There we go. So that should be all the logs. What's up next? Okay, long sticks. Crazy amount of long sticks. I think I just got a couple. Um... 
man. It is so unorganized around here. We could, yeah, we did get a couple for sure. We gotta get a lot, though. And drop it. Was that just one? No, it looks like it was two. Perfect. Okay, we got lots of sticks over here if we do need the smaller ones as well. Where is it? There it is. Now, next up, it looks like probably palm leaves. And that's pretty much it, I think. We should have palm leaves still around here. And I don't know why I'm so excited about a bed, but god damn it, those worms pissed me off. And now, we don't need to deal with them, ladies and gentlemen. Because I got this! Let's, um... Again, it's carbs. You know what? I'm just gonna have... It's actually the candy bar. What is the candy bar? It's, yeah, carbs, as I assumed. Okay, so there we go. We got at least a little bit. Let's just sleep for a second. Because we're low energy. And appreciate the fact that we don't get worms, damn it. Ah. Oh. That's amazing. And now we could actually build another hut over here with a fire. I think that would be a good two-hut setup because this is a nice flat ground. So we'll probably do that next time and slowly move everything up here. Uh, just because that ground over there is too rocky. But yes, we did it, guys. We got the log bed. I did what I wanted to do today, and uh, we didn't die. We killed a lot of tribes, people. And really, we didn't screw up too much. I think the only thing we had was a snake bite. So yeah, that feels good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Green Hell. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. There's still lots of things we have to go explore and unlock. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing that in the near future. And working on our encampment, of course, as well. So thanks so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.